How did the Las Vegas real estate market fare for September 2019? Well, that's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing by clicking one of those buttons down below and even that little bell for notifications because I talk about a lot of cool stuff Las Vegas related and if you're going to be living here, you definitely need to know. Welcome to the October issue of my monthly market update for Southern Nevada. In this issue, I will be going over September 2019 numbers. More than 13 years after the market peaked, Las Vegas home prices came very close to the pre-recession highs, but there was like a, a $5,000 difference between the two. But the $5,000 gap is, is actually bigger than what it appears, especially if you take into consideration inflation. Prices remain a long way from those days. Las Vegas was ground zero for America's real estate bubble in the mid 2000s, marked by fast property values, booming construction, and widespread home flipping. According to the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, the medium sales price of single family homes peaked in June of 2006 to 315,000. But if you consider inflation today, that would be around 398,000. $300, which is around 88000 above last month's numbers. Southern Nevada was ground zero for America's greatest recession. Everything just plummeted, so many foreclosures and uh, short sales that were happening back then. So just as much as we increased the peak in 2006, we took a huge dive. And the medium sales price for single family homes hit its bottom in uh, January 2012 at 118,000. According to the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, which is a 62.5% drop from the peak of 315,000. So you're probably wondering what the actual medium sales price of single family homes was last month. The medium sales price of single family homes, which always compromises the bulk of the market, hit to 310,000 in September which is up 1.6% from August and up 3.3% from September. And if you remember last month, the September number was 305,000. So that's a $5,000 increase, which is crazy. I just can't believe that the medium sales price has gotten that high. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what's selling to make it go that high. And also according to the GLVR, there were 2,750 single family houses that sold in September, down 13.2% from August and up 12.9% from September this year. Southern Nevada also had a total number of 3,523 new listings for the month of September, down 14.3% from August and down 5.5% from the prior year. However, there were a total number of 7,634 single family houses listed without offers at the end of September, down 5.6% from August and up 19.3% from the prior year. There is still about 2.7 months of housing supply in Southern Nevada, which is up 8.8% from August and up 5.7% from the prior year. And as you know, months of supply, as I always talk about, is a good indicator if it's still a buyer or seller's market. And obviously again, with it being at 2.7 months, it is still a seller's market. But as I always say, don't let that fool you. I don't see how the um, medium sales price increased so high. It has, business has picked up a lot because of the interest rates. I was very busy last month showing houses and closings. So I think that may have a key factor as to why the medium sales price did increase. And about 53.9% of the closings for the month of September closed within 30 days or less, which has been hovering around that number for a very long time. So we still have a lot of inventory and these houses that aren't selling are houses that need a lot of work. 
People are buying homes that are move-in ready, that have already been updated because people don't have the cash to really fix up a house just yet. So they want to buy a home that they don't have to do anything to. Home builders closed around 10,670 sales in Southern Nevada last year, which was up um, just 3,900 in 2011, but nowhere near the peak of almost 39,000 sales in 2005, according to the Home Builders Research Report. As I said last month, right now, as a buyer, the fall winter time is the best time to buy. Uh, I just worked with a cash buyer who bought a house. It was on the market for maybe 30 days. It needed a little work. Um, it was listed for 244,000 and we bought it for 237,000 and we were able to get him to pay a little of the closing costs. When you're a cash buyer, closing costs are very minimal, but still the point is, is that we were able to lower the price in the house by $7,000 and that's huge. As a buyer, if you're financing a home, um, not that you could lower the price. If I were the buyer, I would actually ask for the seller to pay for all the closing costs because it's going to get appraised. And if it prices under what you pay for it, then you're going to renegotiate with the seller the price. But oftentimes, you know, the seller, if they're desperate and they need to sell it, they're going to take the sales price that the appraiser appraises at. So you could get a really good deal on that end as well. I wouldn't double dip it by, and what I mean by double dipping is asking for say 10, 20,000 off the sales price, and then also asking for the seller to pay for all of the closing costs. Because closing costs are between two to 3% of the total purchase price. So if you're buying a $300,000 home at 2%, that's $6,000, and that's huge, huge savings. So as a buyer and as your real estate agent, I'd be able to really figure out what is the best deal for you and how you can save money. If you'd like to download the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I've posted a link down in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed my monthly market update for October 2019. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team. And I'm always here to answer all your real estate needs. You can reach me at 702-370-5112. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Medium sales price for single family homes. Dogs. You want to say hi? I like dog. <laughs> hi buddy. Okay. Hi. You want to say hi to everybody? No, mommy hasn't done this in a while.